So when starting students with the euphonium, I prefer to have them stand the first time they pick it up um, to play. They will obviously typically play seated, um, but by having them stand first, it makes sure that they're presenting themselves with proper posture um, and that they're not relying on their lap or the chair to be able to support the weight of the instrument, um, again, which can lead to negative posture issues. So when we're looking at the euphonium, um, the, the handling of it's really quite simple. The left arm wraps around the instrument. If the student has um, a compensating euphonium, which has this extra valve off on the side, which opens up the compensation side of the instrument, um, it's basically a second set of uh, tubes that rekey the instrument, um, your index finger goes right around and it's gonna wrap onto that. The other three fingers of the hand and the thumb in place to help support it. Now the weight of the instrument is not necessarily carried, uh, but rather leaned against the body. So for me, um, the weight falls oh, about halfway down my stomach so that I can bring it right in. In essence, the goal is being able to have it that's an easy pivot to bring the instrument to me. In my right hand, I make a C, and that C fits right underneath this brace that's behind the um, valves, and then my fingers go right on top, one, two, three. First valve is always the one closest to the mouthpiece, uh, third valve is furthest away from it. Um, we want to make sure that as we play that we, um, one, continue to use the fingertips. Uh, by using the fingertips, we have less movement that's needed. It also uh, makes it that we don't fall off of the tops of the keys. You'll see a lot of young players uh, who have a tendency of grouping their fingers together because it's a big spread. Make sure to encourage them, one, two, three, to keep their fingers always in contact with the instrument. Um, now, once we're ready to play, we just bring the instrument to our bodies. We want to make sure that we've set our posture already. Shoulders positioned over the hips, the head is in place, and bring the instrument to it. Um, particularly with euphonium um, and tuba, one of the tendencies that you'll see with beginning players is that they bring themselves to the instrument. Um, so they set it and then lean forward. This creates issues throughout the entire air uh, column um, and just inhibits good tone. So set the posture, bring it to the face. are ready to go. So once um, you've established what proper posture is standing with the instrument, um, now's the time to have students sit down. And the tendency that euphonium players will have is that they drop the weight of the instrument on their leg and adjust their bodies down. As you can see, this creates all sorts of problems for my posture. I've lost that nice straight spine. I've lost that tall position that allows me to have full lung uh, expansion. Um, so we want to keep an eye out for that with our young players. So ideally, um, provided that the student has enough strength, we have them support the instrument as they play. Again, my left arm wrapping around. Um, if I have a compensator, reaching in. Uh, my right hand positioning it um, up underneath the brace, and we're set to go. Um, for younger players or smaller players, um, it's not uncommon to get a small pillow, which can sit on the inside of the left leg um, that allows for some of that weight to be transferred. The big catch if you have um, that pillow is making sure that the pillow is properly sized. We want to make sure that the student can have proper posture once the instrument's in place. Um, so have the student sit down first, then find the pillow or the brace that you're going to put underneath it um, to be able to support that weight.